You know everybody loves the sunshine, well some of us love the clouds and the rain. Here we are at wonderful Camden Market in London. Pull up, take a peek. There's so much going on down here. The wonderful Camden is where it all happens. Camden's just such an interesting place with so many unique things going on and truly is one of these places that is full of inspiration in every manner of the arts. So it made it an ideal, fertile ground for the funky dreads who landed from the planet Art to come right Yassa. Simply because it was a place where, yeah, honestly, you could try a thing, anything was happening. It's a place where I remain and my roots are very deeply embedded here. So here we are, massive international Tony's record store. Whenever I am in town looking for a specific bit of vinyl, trying to replace something scratch up, because it's local, I come here. Yes, Spire! Yes, I know. One of the few stores that's still left that specializes in specific music, and not just reggae music, but obviously that's my heart and soul. And a lot of these records these days, as you can see, have been remastered and stuff, so amazing. If you've got a half decent turntable and see where I've gone. So I decided to go with seven inch singles. Since T had a, a whole bunch of seven inches up there on the wall, you see, that was really the source behind um, me releasing a seven inch record. I think Soul to Soul epitomizes the UK, the multiculturalism, that level of integration, and particularly as we've managed to go through the decades. Um, I think we're inseparably linked to the sound of London and the UK. And now it's so wonderful that when I travel across the world, UK music finally has its place out there. Yeah, Soul to Soul has always been one of uh, collaboration. I'd like to call it inclusivity. Since the sound system days, we're always about that inclusivity opening up the doors facing the audience and allowing the audience to be part of the entertainment. The up and coming single, which is Nothing Compares to You, it was really a simple choice because it's a Prince banger and um, Sinead O'Connor sung it and it's just one of those songs that constantly resonates. It was one of the songs that we would play um, in, during rehearsal, coming up with these different ideas of cover songs. And that particular song just seemed to link with Nadine. It was a vibe thing, it happened, and it was like, you know what? We ain't even gonna trouble it anymore, let's just do it. And that's what we did. We got a saying back in our community that once there's a reggae version of a song, it's a smash. So nothing compares to you. Look out for it, December the 11th. Ooh. The future of music is gonna be a happy face, a thumping face for a loving race, soul to soul.